some Nobody wants Told me the world is gonna roll me I ain't the shop Let's talk some Shrek! Not a whole lot was currently going on in the movie space, but just when everything seemed dead and quiet, out of nowhere, our lord and savior, Shrek! has come out. So let's gather around the swamp fairy tale creatures and talk about this insane thing that could possibly blow our minds. What we have here is our first possible look at the new redesign for Shrek since we heard back in 2018 when Illumination Studios acquired DreamWorks that they would be making a brand new Shrek movie aka Shrek 5. Ever since we found out about that and that they would be rebooting the franchise everyone was really worried what exactly the studio behind Illumination would do to the Shrek characters and it seems like someone might have spotted what their planning to do with it and although it's not that different it's different enough that it might make you feel uncomfortable so i'm gonna need you shrek head to give me your opinions out there what do you think of this redesign for shrek the ogre are you happy with this design do you think they should tweak it up a little more really curious to hear what you guys think all right so just the other day we had a user online by the name of muppet traffic who was on a family vacation to universal florida as you like to do in the summertime and at the park he spotted an official cutout for shrek that looked a little odd to him. And only a true Shrek fanatic would have known that something was wrong with this image. What we have here is essentially a brand new render and redesign for Shrek that was spotted officially at Universal Studios Park in Florida. More details say this is a new part in Universal where they have like a meet and greet with a bunch of the characters. So this is recently added in which would explain why nobody else spotted this because I could see a lot of people walking by this every day and just going, Shrek looks kind of funny, but I'm gonna go get me some $10 pretzels. But all of us who live and breathe by the Shrek name knew something was off by this image. So let's put it side by side to the previous design and go from there. Now it's kind of hard to exactly pinpoint what makes this look so different. You, something in your head, if you've watched Shrek so many times, you know there's something wrong with this image. And even myself staring at it for a while, it took me a while to see. For one, the eyes come off way more friendly. Like this is an ogre you might actually want to hang out with. You you wouldn't run away from this guy like you would the original Shrek and that's one thing we kind of expected Illumination slash DreamWorks to do now with their redesign is make it a little more friendly looking. So they've kind of taken away a lot of like wrinkles out of the face to make it more smooth and appealing. The eyebrows is also something I definitely noticed. They are not as bushy as they used to be. It feels like they've been plucked and taken care of. But you know I'm not gonna blame my man Shrek. Sometimes we want to look good. But the main thing that's the drawback here is the lips. They took away Shrek's original fat, juicy, plump, green lips away from my man. And in fact, he doesn't even have lips anymore. He just has skin that turns into his mouth. That's the biggest draw. I can't imagine what Donkey and them are going to be looking like. But the big question to ask ourselves is, why is this popping up now? A lot of people want to throw out there and say maybe it was just a render they created for this specific promotional material so they could have it in the park, but that seems like a lot of work. There's plenty of old Shrek renders out there. Why would they go out of their way to make a brand new one and then just stick it somewhere in the park? We have the new Puss in Boots movie that is currently coming out, The Last Wish, that you know what? Even though they've changed the animation style up, it looks pretty good. It's definitely not the same old Shrek animation, but it looks very vibrant vibrant, colorful, and inviting, and you know what, I'm kind of interested to see that movie more than the last Puss in Boots film. And we know that whenever they announced a new Shrek movie, they also announced another Puss in Boots film. Is there maybe some sort of possibility, since these universes are connected, we could be seeing like a small tiny cameo of Shrek pop up in Puss in Boots, and this was the render they had saved for that, so it was the reason they used this most recent render to put it in the parks. That would be my guess on the situation, but really, your guys' guess is as good as mine. The only other details we have about Shrek 5 is that it's technically a reboot, even though they've said before they want to bring back the original voice casting, it's going to be a brand new story that doesn't just feel like another sequel. And especially with them kind of being owned by Illumination now, it seems like they want to do their own thing much like this Puss in Boots film. So really, all we can do now is just wait and see what happens. If this turns out being the official design they go with, it's not that bad of a change. They could have gone a real big redesign, but I feel like this thing, you just kind of flinch at, and then your eyes adjust and go, 
Shrek just looks happier and friendlier now. So I throw it off to you guys. You see this new render of Shrek being thrown out there. Are you excited for this? Do you think it's part of the new movie or they just created it for the park? Do you think they should go a little heavier with the redesign? Anything, everything, be sure to leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris. Take care.